What's up, Internet? Jeff and Mario here. Well, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Episode 2, The Star-Spangled Man, just dropped, and Mario, business picked up quick. It did. It picked up real quick. The MCU's <laughs> most punchable <laughs> face, <laughs> the new Captain America. <laughs> John Walker. Yeah. We got we got a name and we got a backstory. Yeah. Dude, I'm I'm digging him. I'm way into it. I was um I was you know sort of reading up and uh, watching some YouTubing up on YouTube, on John right. Walker videos. Yeah. Uh he's an interesting character. I'm really I'm excited to see where they take it. One thing I loved about this one though, right off the bat, was the um the MCU logo they ran, how they whenever they run it with a different music track. I love that stuff. Oh, you know, yes, they, ran they did. With, they yes. ran it with the band music going oh, over. Oh, yes, they did. I love it when they do that. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It felt a little, and I think I didn't realize that at first, but I fit because it just like that whole going back to his high school of just like going back to where you like you really started to find out the man behind the mug. Right. The more that famous mug that is like, how famous of a mug do you have to have when it's mostly obscured by a mask? Right. And people are like, oh, that son of a. <laughs> <laughs> your smug chin. <laughs> I see some sadness behind those eyes. Mm-hmm. I, th- I think there's more of a story that's coming from John Walker. Definitely. I feel I, a heel turn. I don't know if it's going to be a full heel turn. Uh, yeah, I guess um, the the whole John Walker character in the comics was sort of back and forth, no? Yeah, he was. You know, because I know eventually become U.S. agent, mm-hmm. and I don't know if they were going to do it, but it was good. Um, it's funny. We got pretty much nothing of this character in the trailers. No, um, and we can see why. I think he, he's one, he's a major focal point of the story. A huge focal point because it's just like look yeah, when the when the action did start and the first big fight scene they had, he was in it. That that really did surprise me because it feel like it did felt like uh, it this episode left off where the last one did, but it it got right into you know Sam and Bucky didn't interface at all. They were completely apart in the first episode, and then this second one when they both saw that somebody else is carrying the shield, you know. Bucky pretty much came storming up to Sam, and then boom, you they were they were together the rest of the time after that. Yeah, no, this episode really shifted into second gear. Yeah, it's going, it, it's advancing the plot. I like where the story's going. Um, and then there was that one instance where um, when, when Sam and Bucky are tracking the uh, flag smashers, yes, they're following those trucks. There was an instance where um, he gets inside the truck and they find a bunch of vaccines. Oh yes! Did you see that? I did see that. So is there a there's like a pandemic angle coming up? Yeah. Oh, there's something, but yeah, you're right. There was a bunch of vaccines in there, which I don't know if that was something to do with the super soldier serum because the flag smashers, at least four of them, are juice. They're on the gas. Yeah. R.I.P. to uh, what Red Five? What's his sticky widget again? The drone's name is Red Wing, which, as we know, was a, a real bird in the comic book. Right. But now he's he's a drone. He's he is the eye in the sky. Ooh, he could read your mind. <laughs> <laughs> it would have it would have been a strange take if they had gone real bird on this one. Yeah, something like Clash of the Titans, right? With yeah, the, exactly. Oh, the the owl. With the owl, yeah. yeah. Give me the eye. <laughs> the owl's like, I ain't giving you an eye. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, so R.I.P. Red Wing. Well, the U.S. government had been tracking it anyway, so, right? Um, yeah, and they, and that's what they alluded to, right? With uh, you hack my tech, and he's like, that's government tech. So. Yeah. They're very much playing by the rules. They they alluded to that a lot. Mm-hmm. You're playing by the rules, and then Sam's like, "You work for the government. We're kind of outside, so we can skirt it." Yeah. So because John Walker really wants to work, wants them to work together. He does. Yeah, he he's just, trying to get them to join his crew, and he's yeah. like, "You can be my wingman." Yeah. Oh yeah, they did not dig that because. Yeah. And I was just like, "Wow, there's just like last week they weren't even together. The last time we saw them, they were." battling you know next to each other so i don't understand why there's so much heat Mm -hmm. but then you find out why there's heat because he's he's pissed off that he why did you give him the shield yeah you know he's like steve picked you for a reason yeah and he said he picked you and if he was wrong about you maybe he was wrong about me right yeah and he's already having a lot of ptsd he's struggling i think i think um bucky's got heat with the world he does he's got heat with society he's not happy he's not well no. What do you think? Maybe uh, there could be a heel turn for Bucky. Go back heel. He could, right? Yeah. It's just like, so is the super soldier serum make amping up who you really are by ten? And maybe that's what Bucky is struggling with because we all know that Steve jumped on the grenade because that's who he was, and it just amped up who he was and gave us the Captain America we know. Even though John Walker 
which clearly pointed out that he jumped on a grenade. Four, four grenades. Four grenades. Right. I don't know if there was four separate grenades or four <laughs> separate incidents, but like... He has a reinforced helmet. Yeah. Kind of <laughs> That's what he said. Yeah, there he's bringing that up. So I'm, I'm wondering if if Bucky's struggling with that. It says, who am I really? Because when I got on the gas, the Marvel's version of steroids, of just like, I became a murderer. Mm-hmm. And he's and he's struggling with that, and maybe that's why. Again, he's mad about Sam because he's just like he's looking for someone to believe in because he doesn't really even believe in himself. No Peggy Carter this week. No, nope. no. Nope. And you notice they're still showing the credits, but they haven't put a name there. But they did put uh, Wyatt Russell's name there now that I guess so. He's a regular officially, yeah, officially the new Captain America. America. Okay. Well, we've got sort of the angle of um, company men. These yeah. are the company men. These are the government guys who are going to operate within the system. Right. To their to an extent, I guess sort they're sort of rogue, but they're still working within the system and they've got the US government backing them. Like they had that whole scene with the cops, right? It, See, that was that was a uh, that was that, yeah. That was a big moment. That was a huge moment. And now this show is I mean last last week we got the whole uh, Falcon getting denied a bank loan right. thing which which you know didn't sit well. When him and Bucky were in the street arguing and then the cops yeah. coming up. It was a little unsettling. I don't yeah. know. That was the only time I got a little. I started squirming a little bit. Yeah, cops trying to asking Bucky, "Are you okay? Is this guy bothering you?" Yeah. Like, Whoa. Yeah, because as soon as he recognized who he was, you know, he's oh, I, I apologize. And we've seen that happen, right? We've seen that happen uh, with an NFL star recently. You know, it's just like basically the cops came to his house and he was having the issue, and they went after him. Yeah, and it's just like so. It's very. It was very fitting, and then. They turn the tables on Bucky, too, and then they're like, whoa, uh, you missed your patrol. You're under arrest. Right. It made me squirm a little bit. But right. that's when we learned about Isaiah, who was one of the old soldiers, which sounds like he beat Sam, I mean, beat Bucky in a fight. Yeah, well, again, I, I YouTube a little bit about Isaiah Bradley. Do you know about this character? No, I don't. So he was another super soldier who actually took on the identity of Captain America for a little while. Really? Yeah. But like he did it sort of, um, again, he went rogue and sort of stole the, stole the mask, stole the identity. And then after that, he was, yeah, he went to jail for doing that. Wow. I did not know that. He was definitely hiding. He didn't yeah. want to know he was there. But when he stood up, I was really like, this dude has grandpa strength that everyone that doesn't realize how strong grandpa is until he throws you against the door. Right. And you're like, wow. And then he threw like a Mentos box through, through the wall. Mm-hmm. And then like, well, okay, so... Uh, what else? What was the, the the big aha moments in there? They Can had we a, talk about John Walker shot somebody straight up? Just yes, shot somebody. <laughs> that that was very just like. And then I started like trying to rewind in my brain. Like I vaguely remember Captain America in the first Avenger having a gun. They yeah, he starts out with a gun. Um, but I want to say II. he moved to no guns. Right. Yeah. Pretty quickly. But no, pretty quickly, John Walker pulled it out and, and shot a dude. Yeah, and they sort of just gloss over it. He just pulls out again, casually shoots a guy with a forty-five, <laughs> and then it's never mentioned again. Yeah, that, I, I was, yeah, I was very taken back by that because yeah. it's just like he came on the scene, started throwing the shield, doing his thing. But yeah, then he just shot. <laughs> yeah, so John Walker will will shoot you. Yes. So there's he, that. And I do know a little bit about the backstory and the character uh, that it's going to start getting to his head. And he's going to start going a little bit. He's going to get a little rougher. He's going to be Battlestar and new Captain America might be good cop, bad cop. And he might go very bad cop. He might even go Robert Zadar maniac cop. I don't know. He might like beat the crap out of someone. Yeah. But again, he's not on the sauce yet. Right. When he gets on the sauce, is that going to change? Because again, it's just going to enhance who you are. Do you think uh, Sam is going to get on the sauce? He, I mean, it occurs to me every time he does something, he has no powers and he's completely vulnerable. Yeah. Other than the fact that he can, you know, fly, use maybe use the wings as a shield or something. But yeah. aside from that, he's pretty susceptible to a lot of stuff. He is. Yeah, like he's got no healing, he's got no super strength, no super speed. No, and he brought it. He's the one that brought it up, right? He, we're always fighting android aliens or wizards right you know and it's just like and he's just got the wings and you got an arm kind of thing so it's going to be tempting that's just like if you become captain america do you do you take this and obviously he's an honorable guy so i don't think it would go bad there's a scene in the trailers where we show he's getting some sort of new briefcase right that looks a lot like the briefcase from iron man 2 that tony has when he pulls the suit yes the, the suit the briefcase suit out the briefcase iron man suit right so I think maybe 
that could be his advantage if he decides not to take the super soldier serum. Which I'm not sure he's going to take it. I think he might be proud and realize, just, I don't, I don't need it. But if he has an Iron Man level suit. He won't need it. That would work right? out. That would balance things out. I was wondering how they were going to in- introduce Zemo. Mm-hmm. And it looks like they're going to introduce him the Hannibal Lecter route. Right. Right. So I don't know if they're going to walk through the basement and they're going to go visit him and multiple personality MIGs mm-hmm. is going to do something disgusting. <laughs> but it looks like they're going with, with the, the Lecter route. They basically are so they, turning so, to him because they don't have answers. Right. They need what they need his help. Yeah. Um, again, they're operating outside the system, right? You know, John Walker and uh, I keep wanting to call him Kaboom. It's Battlestar. Not Kaboom. Battlestar. <laughs> Battlestar. Yeah. Him and Battlestar have the whole backing of the U.S. government and all right. their funding and have all their spy tech and anything they need. So yep. since they're operating outside of the system, they've got to reach out to help uh, from some criminals. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, two, two down, four to go, right? So we got basically a four-hour jaunt into where they're going to go with this. Yeah, if it keeps up at this pace, I'm all in. Oh, they're, yeah. They're, I'm ready. Shifted in the third gear next week. Let's go. Yeah, I think it's going to be really good. I, again, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about the evolution of John Walker. I think that that was the big thing that came out of this episode for me. I, I want, want to see the black suit. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Oh, man. Yeah, this is going to be good. All right. Well, that's it for us. Don't forget the Holy Trinity. Like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you down the road.